All right, so during my first video today, the report came out that Alex Albon was talking to Red Bull, that Red Bull had offered Alex Albon a contract. During my video on Alex Albon, <laughs> this report comes out that NASCAR is apparently in talks to potentially take the clash to Mexico. I cannot wait to see what report is happening during the exact time of the filming of this video. It's probably going to be like Kyle Larson to replace Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes or something wild like that. Anyways, yes, you heard me right. Viva La Mexico. Uh, NASCAR could be going to Mexico. Now, it is not confirmed. Nothing is locked up. But there's a report from The Athletic that, indeed, NASCAR is looking to potentially move the clash. They run at the L.A. Coliseum. This will be year number three of the L.A. Coliseum. But NASCAR, you know, looking to move things around, looking to go to a different location, a different market, things like that. And Mexico could be on the list. So let's get into it. So this article kind of talks about the LA Coliseum, its future in NASCAR, and then talks about some other options, and here's what it says. The race would have to be held somewhere warm. Based on the time of the year, which is early February, any outdoor stadium or track in a cold climate can be ruled out. As the team executive remarked, why couldn't this be NASCAR's version of the Winter Classic, which is the NHL Every year they have an outdoor hockey game. Like one year it was in Dallas at the Cotton Bowl. I think this past year it was in Seattle, I want to say. I could be wrong on that. Let's move it around to different places. Say Dallas, New Orleans, Miami, anywhere where it could have a big event feel. How cool would it be to see this in Mexico City? Now before we get to Mexico, that is just some of these cities. Just, it's just crazy. Could you imagine NASCAR at some of these places? Now, you know, trying to if you're trying to continue this stadium idea where you put a quarter mile racetrack essentially inside of a football stadium like we're doing at the Coliseum, you've obviously got to, you know, kind of weigh your options in terms of, as they said, you have to weigh your options in terms of climate. You know, you don't want to go to the northeast and then there'll be a foot of snow on race day in Boston uh things like that you want to go somewhere in the southern united states where the climate is a little bit more nice as i said dallas new orleans miami uh, miami their football stadium where the dolphins play hard rock stadium of course they have a formula one race around that racetrack so would be they be willing to turn the inside of their football stadium into a you know quarter mile racetrack i don't know it'd be interesting to see now as for new orleans I, they can't do a dome because of the fumes and stuff. So I'm curious what that would be there. But Dallas, if Dallas was a legit option, the Cotton Bowl, that is a legit possibility because AT&T Stadium, you can't do in Arlington because it's a dome. I know you can open the roof and all that, but it's still pretty close in there. And it'd be hard to get the cars into the stadium, I believe. It'd be super loud. All this echoing, it, it, I just don't think that would work. But the Cotton Bowl, it's an old historic football stadium that's about to get a bunch of renovations, like over $100 million worth of renovations. Um, it's a historic stadium, as I said. Uh, Texas and Oklahoma still play there every year in football, which, by the way, I have to mention in this video, it's, it's an obligatory thing that OU does still suck. Um, but they have a big tunnel that they can get the cars in through. They've got kind of an area outside of there, Fair Park, that they can park the haulers and stuff. So I think that's a real possibility. Now, obviously, we're not here to focus on Dallas because Dallas is not the focus. These are just examples that were used in this quote from this team executive who's anonymous. Now, here's where the next paragraph is, and this is the obviously the focus of the video, so let's get into it. NASCAR's leadership has thought about this, too. Taking the clash to Mexico City or Guadalajara is on their radar, perhaps as soon as next year, according to industry sources. There are plenty of positives to this possibility. It would create new buzz about the race, similar to 2022 when it debuted in Los Angeles. It would add a new destination NASCAR doesn't already visit. It would reach new fans, and it would fulfill NASCAR's publicly stated goal of having at least one international event on its 38 race schedule. So yes, NASCAR has been trying to go international for a few years now. Whether that's our neighbors to the North Canada, our neighbors to the South Mexico, or whether it is, you know, elsewhere. Uh, Europe would be a long shot, I feel like, right now. But, you know, with the stadium idea, anything is possible. Uh, South America, a little bit more possible. You know, go to Brazil or something. But the most realistic, most base, or not, uh, I was almost going to say, the, 
the ba not basic, but the most, you know, logical place to go outside of the U.S. would be Canada or Mexico. Last year, NASCAR tried to strike a deal with the circuit Gilles Villeneuve to go race the Cup Series at that track in Canada in Montreal. Ultimately, the deal fell through. NASCAR replaced its place on the schedule with Iowa, and it's TBD if that's going to happen. Well, now NASCAR wants to still be international, but they have been looking down south in terms of Mexico. And according to this, Mexico City or Guadalajara. Now, NASCAR has some goals, as mentioned here, uh, to create a similar buzz as that first LA Coliseum race in 2022. I remember that buzz. That was crazy. Everyone was so excited to see how this looked. Everyone was like, how are they going to fit a NASCAR track inside of a football stadium? What's it going to look like? And it was a pretty cool event. It was a pretty solid race. It was a, seemed like people at the track had a good time. I was not there. But overall, it was a really positive weekend for NASCAR. And then last year, still good weekend, still positive. But, you know, it's like, all right, yeah, we saw it again. We've seen it. But still really cool. And this year, you know, kind of that buzz, that excitement, it wears off after a few years of it. But still, it's a solid event. It's cool. I like the idea personally. I know some people don't, but I personally really like it. But the idea would be is to create a new buzz would be to take this stadium idea, to take the clash at the Coliseum and move it somewhere else. I know it sounds so complicated. It's not complicated. But anyways, where would they go? So you got to create the buzz and, you know, you could go to Dallas. As I said, you could go to Miami and yeah, that create a new buzz in terms of those areas. Dallas would, you know, promote it a bunch, get it, people all excited around here. Uh, people would go to Miami, you know, get people excited in Miami, that kind of thing. But if you go somewhere that they're not, that hasn't really experienced NASCAR, you know, Dallas has Texas Motor Speedway within an hour drive of most places in the DFW area. Um, Miami has Homestead Miami Speedway, which is pretty close to Miami. But if you go somewhere that doesn't have NASCAR or doesn't have a NASCAR track currently, especially, especially if it's international, that is a whole complete new different buzz that you have just created. And it could bring in a lot of new fans. And obviously those would be international fans, which is a big deal. And that is one of the goals of NASCAR as well. It says reaching new fans. Um, I don't know how much people in Mexico watch NASCAR. I know that we have a Mexican driver, Daniel Suarez. I know that he has a support uh, from Mexican fans, but I don't know how many people in Mexico watch NASCAR. I've never been to Mexico, so I would not know. Uh, but I'm curious to know how many, how much Mexico watches NASCAR. Um, but obviously, you know, they have other forms of motorsport. I'm sure they, I don't know. They have the NASCAR Mexico series. There are other series. They have Sergio Perez and F1. Um, they have Pato Award in IndyCar. So Mexico is not unfamiliar with motorsport, but they have not had a NASCAR Cup Series race in Mexico, or at least not in a long time. And then as for NASCAR, you know, their goal is to have an international race. You know, that would check that box pretty easily. Now, as for the destinations themselves, Mexico City and Guadalajara. Now, there's some information on both of the cities. Mexico City is the capital of Mexico. It's also the most populated city in Mexico. So that one would obviously make a lot of sense to do. Most populated city, you know, a lot of buzz, a lot of excitement, a lot of eyeballs, and everyone knows where it is. And, you know, it's pretty easy to access. So from that logistical standpoint, it makes sense. Um, I don't know where in Mexico City they do it. I know that's where the F1 race is. That's where their road course is. So uh, if you wanted to do a road course, you know, you go to the F1 track if you want to do stadium, I'm not too familiar with the stadiums in Mexico City. As for Guadalajara, it's the seventh most populated city. I don't much know much else about it other than it says here that it's the capital of the state that it is in, which is Jalisco. I might have pronounced that wrong. Uh, but anyways, yeah, Guadalajara, another big populated city in Mexico. Uh, both of these cities are very, as I said, they're top 10 in their country. They're going to be hosting World Cup games in 2026 when the U.S., Canada, and Mexico host that major global event. So these cities are more than capable of hosting a major event like this. Uh, it's just a matter of would NASCAR do it? Which city would they choose? Uh, if I had to guess on NASCAR in Mexico, if it were to happen, I think they would go for Mexico City. I think they'd swing for the fences, go for the biggest city in Mexico, go for the, the country's capital, um, you know, really go for it. 
And then there was one final part of it that said, Nothing that was finalized. If more ambitious plans don't materialize, industry sources say even a return to Daytona International Speedway where the event was held from 1979 to 2021 is possible. Uh, as for Daytona hosting the Clash, like, look, I know Speed Weeks used to be a big thing, and I always enjoyed Speed Weeks, don't get me wrong, but it has it, it doesn't exist anymore. Speed Weeks do not exist anymore. I mean, it's been trimmed down so much just in the last few years. You used, to, you used to have six, seven practices. You used to have qualifying. You had the duels. You had the clash and the Daytona 500. Now you have qualifying, the duels, and the race. Like You have nothing, basically. So um, speed weeks, to me, are dead, respectfully. But uh, don't get me wrong, I miss speed weeks, but the Clash at Daytona just doesn't do it for me anymore. After, you know, I've gotten this taste of the Clash outside of Daytona, I know it would be more cost efficient for the teams and stuff, but uh, the fact of the matter is it's pretty cool that they do it in a football stadium, they do it in a different market, LA. Um, you know, so the Clash at the Coliseum, it's not for sure going away, uh, but there are other options out there. Mexico is a possibility right now. Uh, Mexico City, Guadalajara, wherever it may be, but uh, I don't even have a guess. They might, you know, stay in LA for one or two more years just to make sure they stay in that LA market since they don't have Auto Club, which we talked about earlier, but uh, if they don't, if they ultimately go with Mexico City or Guadalajara, that would be really cool if you ask me. Run down there for a few years at the Clash, uh, then, you know, you can move it somewhere else. You can move it here to Dallas. You could move it to I don't know, the New Orleans, as they said. You can move it to Birmingham, Alabama, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm trying to think of, you know, places that have better climate. So uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot of news today so much. We were supposed to do a paint scheme preview, and I said unless there's like a nuclear news story that drops that I would do it. Well, um, multiple news stories dropped. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to push that back. I will update you tomorrow morning on the schedule for the weekend on the community post. So make sure to check that out. Make sure to be here for the community post tomorrow morning. I will let you know. Uh, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, all that, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great rest of your day.